Hey guys, how's it going? Just making this video here to assist anyone that's struggling with rep levels on heat. This is the best way that I know and have done multiple times to get higher heat levels to 50 pretty much. Could do it in one day. So you just follow this route right here. It's like a circle around this island. Very easy, very simple, very quick. Best way to get rid of cops too while being chased. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. So in total there's two speed traps and one jump. The first speed trap is coming up right here. The car I'm driving currently is around 220 I think. 220 performance level or 230, I can't remember, I'll, I'll show it soon. This is the second speed trap, very easy to do. And this jump right here always gets rid of the cops. Doesn't matter what heat level you're on, doesn't matter how many are chasing you, once you do that jump, they're all gone, which I'll show you later. And this is the jump. follow this course here. Let's go. Chuck a left. And that's pretty much it. So just keep going down and just repeat the circle. Hey, I, I got my hands. So the car was 232, these are the parts and now I just changed it quickly over to a faster version. Not maxed out but still faster. Uh, this <laughs> This wasn't supposed to, yeah, okay, anyways, um, yeah, let's just ignore that clip. Um, this is the course with a faster version of the car, not maxed out there. The first speed trap, you can easily get it on three stars. Your eyes open, suspect is still out there. The second one, easily three stars again. This jump also helps with getting rid of cops but not always because they can just drive around it but this jump for sure hands down the best way to get rid of cops while doing this course this one does help too I'm also going to show a quick shortcut that I take that helps with the run so instead of going right you go left and you cut through this section right here and that's that run and I'm gonna show another another way to get rep points if you can't like get one star or two stars on the speed traps and the jump there's actually a drift course right outside that safe house which is right here bear with me with the drifting it was <laughs> pretty bad but I haven't played in a while as long as you get the points right <laughs> yes yeah, I was not on course at all but you know what enough to get three stars and that's what you're looking for pretty much and you can just start it again straight away and cops will ignore you if you're not hit one so zero they will just leave you alone pretty easy if I was better at drifting <laughs> I would have shown you but yeah so that's the drifting part done and this is where I'm showing where this jump is very easy to get rid of cops. Just like that. They do the jump and then, I don't know, just shut down, stop working. Just gone completely. Doesn't matter how many cops are chasing you, even if it's a helicopter, for some reason they just 
leave you once you do that jump. And this course is the best because once you do this jump right here, you can go straight to the safe house and cash in all of the rep that you earn for a month. Just like that. And another another course over here. Is this is the circle next to the first safe house that you're at. So there's a speed trap and a and a jump. So if you have a fast car you can get the speed trap on three all the time. But because my car wasn't fully maxed out, it wasn't able to. You can go around this circle and do the speed trap again, but I just usually turn around here and just try to get the speed trap again. And I'll show the jump very quickly. The jump might be easier to do, but the speed trap is more consistent, I think. Two stars. Pretty good. And then once there's too many cops here, which there will be eventually, you can either exit through the entrances or you can exit through this jump. Thanks guys.